always walked to school to Warren Harding Junior High School where I was in eighth grade. And for me, it was all about the emotions, the feelings about the war, being so sad, watching the news every night. Walter Cronkite would give the body count and we would see these horrific stories of children running from their burning huts and the world looked like it was on fire and the soldiers in their body bags and they would give this body count and it was just horrible and I, I just felt awful about it. Really, it's a story of journalism also because without the journalists that were there and reporting on all of this, we wouldn't have known about it. So I didn't know that there was a plan to delay wearing the armbands. I wasn't even sure if I should wear the armband because I was a very shy girl and I was the youngest, I think, of the group. Well, that's not really true. My little sister was in fifth grade, Hope, and my brother Paul was in second grade. And they wore black armbands to their schools the same day that I did to Cattell Elementary School in Madison Elementary School. And we were there three years ago to celebrate that 50th anniversary of all of us wearing our armbands. But for us, the younger kids especially, it was all about the emotions, I think, and how we felt about the sadness of just watching the war on, on the news. It's more vague how I felt when I was in school. I remember going there with my friend Connie, my best friend who had always walked there with, and her, you know, saying something about how I shouldn't do this and I might get in trouble and I was getting more and more nervous. And I remember a couple of the classes I went to, like sewing class and, um, you know, just being at lunchtime with the boys table next to our girls table and the boys teasing me about the armband and then going off to Mr. Moberly's class, which was my math class. and. That was my favorite teacher, Mr. Moberly. And the day before then, he had spent most of the period talking about the black armbands because it had come out in the Des Moines Register that there would be a rule against black armbands. And so he had spent most of the class period talking about the black armbands the day before. So I had a feeling when I got there I was going to be in trouble. So I was really nervous coming up the hall of Harding where I was yesterday speaking with students 50 some years later. and. When I came up the hall, I was just really nervous, and Mr. Moberly gave me a pink pass, and I knew what that meant. So I went down to the office, and I was so nervous and scared, and uh, the vice principal, Mr. Willitson, said, now, Mary Beth, that armband is against the rules, and so take off your armband. So I looked around the office, and I looked at him, and I took off the armband. And I put it on the desk, and I was kind of relieved that I thought, well, this is over. The, you know, I stood up for my rights and everything, stood up about the war. And then I went back to math class, and then someone came to get me at uh, class. Mrs. Tarman, the girl's advisor, called me back to the office, and that's when she told me I was going to be suspended, and she gave me a suspension notice, and then I walked home. I, yeah, I took the notice home, and. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I, I knew that I might be suspended, but you see, we had experienced the uh, watching the Birmingham kids on the news and others from the Civil Rights Movement. So we had examples in our life of people who really sacrifice. And the Birmingham kids, four of them were killed for speaking up against racial segregation. And so I felt like getting suspended was really not a very bad thing to happen compared to that. 